I go over this. And uh, remember, you're still learning, and you want <clears throat> to try to get as much additional knowledge as you can here. So Caleb invested 3000 in a TFSA, earning 6.5, compounded monthly. Using the rule of 72, that should be on your calculator. You should have at least this one, right, is um, divided by the interest rate. 72 divided by the interest rate. Do not change, do not convert this to a decimal, okay? So for A, time will just be 72 divided by 6.5. You leave it like that. And that gives you 11.08 years, okay? So you get a mark for that. And B, how long will it take, using your answer in A, how long will it take to get 24,000? This is how you do it. This goes back to exponential. Because remember, compound interest is exponential growth. So at time zero, you've got 3,000. Don't forget that, right, time zero. So after 11.08, you double this. Another 11.08, which gets you to 22.16, you double what you had before. And you add another 11.08, that's your doubling time. That would be 33.24. You double your money. Now you, you've achieved the $24,000 goal. So this is the time, right? 33.24 years. I'll give you another mark for that. So, um, it was in one of the homework uh, assignments that I've given you, it was on there. So, but there it is one more time. Now we've got a TVM solver situation. A is uh, determine the mon monthly deposits that you, will ha that you have to make to achieve the goal, right? So we go and show everything here. So this is how the province uh, asks us to mark these. If you make one mistake, it's minus one right away, but you still get the second mark for follow through. So usually a TVM solver question is two marks. Okay, it's worth two marks. So you can always still, and then whatever your answer is here, if you carry that with you, B, C, D, you still get full marks there. Okay, so, but sometimes your answers will not make sense, in which case I would encourage you to go back and change it, and make it work. Okay, so here we go. In this particular case, the compounding periods is four, because it says quarterly. There are payments being made or deposits, and we're told that, right, they're asking us what monthly deposits are made. So this is 12, PY is 12. Future value, we want 5400 that'll be positive because you'll be getting it payment is what we're going to calculate present value since it doesn't tell us that you're putting in a large amount right up front it's zero interest is just 4.75 and n would be number of years times whatever is in py so that'd be 12 so this is 60 okay so there we go so if you have one mistake, you go minus one on that one. And then we calculate the payment. Uh, 79.95 is your payment. So whatever payment you get today, uh, if you make one mistake, we'll still give you one out of two there. So the payment is 79.95. And it makes sense that it's negative because it's going away from you. So uh, just make sure you have a dollar sign here or a dollar sign there. It does a uh, so just keep that in mind. That's a so this was a okay. So B, what is it asking? How much interest was earned? So you can either use this one, sum of interest from the first to the last one, which is for me 60. So whatever n is, I go 60. And I get six, should I show you this? So you, what you need to do here, oh, what did I do? Let's try this again. I need to, I'm just gonna resolve it just to make sure you quit this, then you gotta go back in there and I go sum of interest. So from the first to the 60th, 
payments are 602.98. And here's where if you did it using my formula, uh, you get a different answer. Okay, so if you use this one, which is present value, uh, future value, sorry, future value minus present value, which is zero, minus 60 payments of 79.95. Okay, so that's 5,400 minus this amounts to 47.97. So you only made payments, you didn't have anything to start with, right? So the, the interest is always what you've put in from your money minus right, the future value, and that's the interest that you've earned. So that would be 600, 693. And so either, either one of these is okay. And uh, of course, if your payment is off, but you're still showing me this, you're okay. You would get the follow through mark for this one. Um, if you get a negative, then I would argue you should have figured it out that it's not, it can't be right. But I don't think you'll get a negative. Might be. C, what's the rate of return? I think I'm gonna give you a freebie on this one because as I look at your formulas that I gave you, you know what, the, I'm gonna change this later on, but the rate of return is interest earned. This is a dollar amount. Okay, not the I from here, not the interest rate. Interest earned over amount invested. That's really what it is, times 100. So you take that and you multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. So this is, in a nutshell, what the rate of return is. Are you always going to earn interest? You can sometimes lose, in which case your rate of return could be negative. I haven't seen a case that is negative in, um, in this section. So I don't think you need to worry about that, but it could be that you're losing money, right? So interest earned, we know it's either this or this. I'm gonna go with the 602.98. Amount invested, it would be future value, uh, sorry, present value plus any payments you've made. I already know that my payments, like the amount that I've invested is 47.97. I multiply that by 100, I get, 12.57%. This is like the golden standard to measure the success of your investments by. So if you have a friend like, oh, I invested in the stock market and I made so much money. Well, always say, well, how much did you start off with? Right? Oh, how much interest did you earn? Like how much did you earn in the stock market? So you would say how much you earned over how much you invested times 100. That tells you the true picture as to which investment was best, okay? Rate of return. D, Trina wonders how much her GIC will be worth after three years. So this is kind of like part of the investment. It's not the entire thing. Determine the balance after three years. I kind of gave it away with that word right there. So you're supposed to use balance. This one only takes one entry. You cannot put in three, you have to go years, times PY, that's what goes in here. So it's really three times 12. So that's balance of 36. Okay, that's what you put in there. And so you grab your calculator, apps, finance, balance is right there. So it's after the 36th payment. And so it's negative because it's at the bank, right? That's why it's negative, it makes sense. You don't have to have the negative on here. It's just letting you know. So after three years, Trina will have that much money in the account. With the interest that was earned along the way, with the payments that were made, that's how much is in the account after three years. So this is a mark. Rate of return, I gave you two marks because you had to do uh, quite a bit of work to get that. The interest was worth one mark and the TVM was two. Right, so what are we at? Two, four, and six. Four, question two, is worth six marks collectively. 
All right, let's do the third one. And if you some, sometimes you won't know what you're, what do I need to solve for? Start filling in your TDM solver entries and see what's left, like what's still unknown to me. And then just solve for that, right? And then you move on. So here we go. N, I, T, V, P, M, T, P, Y, C, Y. Please let me know when I mix the last two up. I'm pretty sure with, I'm pretty okay with all the other ones, but sometimes I mix these ones up. So please stop me when I do that. So compounded semi-annually, that is two times a year. Payments per year, it's every two weeks or bi-weekly. There are 26 of those. Um, at what age will will he have more than 18,000? So we're going to aim for 18,000. That's the future value we're after. There are payments being made of $150. You go negative on that one. Okay, because you're taking it to the bank. And there's also an initial deposit of $5,000. Okay. <clears throat> the interest rate is 3.5%. Don't turn that into a decimal ever when you use TVM Solver. It does it for you. And N is the unknown. So I'm going to solve for N. Inside of N, I can figure out the time. It's comprised inside whatever N is. So let's go ahead and figure that out. So n is unknown. I'm, I'm going to put a zero in there for now. 0. 0.5, negative 5,000, negative 150, 18,000. This is 26. And this is 2. I'm going to n. I'm going to go alpha, enter. So that's 78.7425832. I'm just going to write it all down. What is this? This goes with whatever... PY is bi-weekly. So these are technically, we're talking 78 bi-weekly periods. That's what this number always tells you. It's always based on what's in PY. So we'll go with years is equal to N divided by PY. Okay. I would have this somewhere next to N on my study sheet, just to remember. 78, 7, 4, 5832 divided by 26. And here we go. I just threw this in last minute, so I wasn't ready for the key here. So this is 3.028 and something. You can round that to three years or four years. Probably in this context, it would be most appropriate to say four years because then you make sure you have more than 18,000 but uh, I, I would accept either one so 20 plus 3 23 years old right or 20 plus 4 24 years so it's gonna happen fairly quickly not too bad okay all right And uh, every time I just make stuff up, I run into a bit of a problem here. I'll tell you in a bit what the mark. I just, GIC, folks, you cannot make monthly deposits into it. You, GIC, this is how it works. I have five grand here in my TFSA, right? I'm going to put the five grand in that GIC and it stays there for whatever amount of time you're determining. So there's a bit of a, can't be true, but don't worry about it. I will make sure that it works out uh, when it's on a test or a quiz. I just wanna be consistent. So what are, what, are, what are we talking about here? I would say for you to get the 78, you get two marks. Okay? And then I'll give you half for figuring out the years and half for figuring out the actual age of Andre. Okay, so three marks all together here. So three and six, that's nine, and then it's 10, 11 total. 11 total, okay. 
So name and last name, because it's very hard to figure out who you are. 